How do you stay organized and manage your time effectively when you're trying to balance multiple commitments, appointments, and competing priorities? The answer is to get serious about scheduling. Here's what scheduling entails and why it's important, followed by how to create a schedule that will keep you focused and moving forward on your goals. Scheduling involves planning what you will do and when you will do it. You can create a schedule using a physical planner or calendar, an online calendar, or another online scheduling tool. It doesn't matter which tool you use, as long as there's a recording of your planned activities along with dates and times indicating when you expect to complete them. Think of a schedule as a commitment. Every time you add an activity, meeting, or appointment to your schedule, you're making a commitment. You're blocking out the necessary time to devote to that task or engagement, and you're organizing other priorities and last-minute items around it. So, how can scheduling benefit you? First, scheduling helps to protect time for your top priorities. You can block out or protect the time necessary to work on your most important projects. Second, a good schedule keeps you organized and helps you avoid missing or forgetting about commitments. Third, sticking to a schedule also helps you avoid distractions. You're less likely to get sidetracked by non-essential tasks when you have a plan for your day and are aware of your time limitations. Finally, planning out your day, week, or month enables you to detect and resolve problems in your schedule before they happen. When done well, a schedule provides a blueprint for a successful day. You have a clear plan for what needs to happen and when to achieve your goals. So, how can you start scheduling your time effectively? Here are six steps. The first step is to choose a tool and frequency. Are you going to create a physical schedule by using a pencil, planner, or paper calendar? Or will you use an online calendar or another online scheduling tool? And will you create a daily, weekly, or monthly schedule? Answer these questions before continuing to the next step. The next step is to list tasks by priority. This step is twofold. First, make a list of everything that you want to achieve in your chosen time span. Second, review all the tasks you've listed and rank or reorder them by priority. If you're struggling to prioritize tasks, then there are several questions to consider. For example, you might ask yourself, which tasks are urgent or have an impending deadline? Or, which tasks are important and contribute the most to my organization's goals and success? The third step is to estimate how much time you'll need to complete each task on your list. For example, Perhaps you estimate that you'll need two hours to develop a financial report, or you expect to take one hour to write a press release. Once you've completed your time estimates, you can move on to the fourth step, which is to schedule your top priorities. Add your high priority tasks and meetings to your calendar or scheduling tool. Block out the time that you estimated in the previous step. One helpful tip is to schedule high-priority tasks earlier rather than later in the day. That way, you'll be less likely to get distracted by other needs and requests that get thrown your way. Now, let's move on to the final two steps. Now that you have a place for all your high-priority tasks, the fifth step is to schedule your lower-priority tasks in the remaining time available. Avoid overscheduling yourself in this step. If you don't have time for everything, then don't try to make it all fit. Instead, ask yourself, is it essential that I complete this task in this time frame, or could it wait until later? Or consider if you could delegate a task or two. Finally, the last step is to leave time for flexibility. Time estimates aren't absolutes, and schedules rarely go 100% according to plan. Expect that there will be delays, distractions, and tasks that take longer than expected. Plan for the unexpected by scheduling extra time between meetings or spare time at the end of the day for last-minute requests. Also, don't forget to schedule time for breaks. Think of your finished schedule as a living document. 
It's okay to make changes to it as priorities shift. Your schedule should adapt to your needs. What's most important is that you have a starting point, an initial plan. Consult your schedule before making new commitments. Compare priorities to see if changes to your schedule make sense. As a result, you'll be surprised by how much easier it is to keep organized and stay on track with your goals.